Before we start this video, I would like to give a big shout out to the Murray Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealership in Alberta, Okotoks. Thank you so much to them for letting me use their cars for this video. In today's video, I will be reviewing the 2021 Jeep Sahara Wrangler. <laughs> from the left side to the right let's talk about the inside starting from the driver's side we will talk about the door so over here there is a handle to open the door to just lock this door all you need to do is that and it should be locked but then for the other side it will not be locked that is if you just want to do it manually if you do want to go ahead and lock every single door you need to press that button and then it shows that it's locked which is very cool so in case you don't remember if you locked it or not, it just tells you right there. Next, we have the side view mirror controls. So we're gonna go ahead and start the car. And we're gonna control the left. So it's just turning left, we're fixing it. And then to switch to the right side. That is all you do. Next, there is the headlight controls. Here we have the rear fog lights. So if we just click it, it should turn on. It should pop up. So we do have the headlights and the rear fog. And then we also have auto. So over here, these are for the instrument cluster. So you can just do that. And then it should turn the brightness down to what you like and up to what you like. It just depends on your liking and you can just set it to the brightness that suits you best. For me, it's all the way up, but at night when it's just too bright on your eyes, you can always change it up. Over here, we have the high beam if we push forward and it should just pop up as an icon right there on the bottom. It is the blue one. And to turn it off, pull it back. Of course, we have our turn signals. Down is left, up is right. Over here, we have the instrument cluster controls. So you can just set up the screen however you would like, and it just controls everything on the instrument cluster. Then we have the answer, decline, and the speak. If you do wanna give the car a command, just press this and it should work. Next, of course, we have the Jeep logo right in the middle. It says airbag on the bottom. Over here, we have the cruise control buttons to set up the cruise control. Over here, we have the wipers. So if you push forward, it should do the rear. And if you pull it towards you, it should do the front. And if you do hold, it should spray and wipe. And then same thing goes with the back. This is just to turn on your wipers. If you go ahead and scroll, you can go all the way to the fast option. So if it's on off, your wipers won't be moving, but the more you go to high, the faster it gets. We have the rear wiper. So you would just do that if you want it to go fast and consistent. And then that is it for the wheel. Of course, around all of the car, we have these air vents. There are four in the front. Over here, we have our Apple CarPlay, so we can look at where we're going, where we are, and where we want to go. We have our calendar, and then we have our Apple Music. So it is extremely cool how you can use Apple CarPlay with this Wrangler. Over here, we have the volume knob. We have the front and the rear defroster. We have the heated steering wheel. Over here we have the heated seats and this is for the driver's seat. So we can just put it to our liking. So if you just want a little bit of heat, you can just put it to one. If you want a bit more, two. And just like it goes, you just press whichever one you like and how much heat you want. Over here we have the mute. So this is also touch, so you can just use this to control it as well. 
and there are buttons, which is extremely cool. Over here we have the auto for the temperature controls. We have the climate power off and on button. Then we have the AC. We have the heated seat for the passenger. We have the parking sensor right here. And then we have the hill descent control. Then over here we have the screen on and off. And then you can also touch to turn it on. We have the hazard. Over here we have the tune browser. So if you want to switch a song, over here we have the window switch, so these two control the passenger and driver seat. Over here we can just roll it down so the passengers in the back cannot open their windows, so we would have to do it from the front. Then over here we have the media, so this is the aux, the USB, and basically everything you need to connect a phone or device to it. Here we have the gear shift. we have our parking brake then we have cup holders right here and a cool thing about this car is that over here is a key holder place so you can there are tags here so i cannot push it all the way down but in the middle there is a place to put your key and even your phone if you would like we have a small little storage area down here and then there are two compartments in this so if we just pull open the first one this is what the first one looks like. It's not very big, but it is still storage. And then if you would like to open a bigger one, you just pull from here. And then an even bigger one is available. And then there's another USB port there. On the driver's door, there is another little compartment right here. And then over here on the bottom, there is a little net. On the right side, we have a lockable glove compartment and then it comes with a tool kit and an instructional kit. We have our speakers. We have our handle right here. We have the lock and a lock button. And then again, we have this little storage area right here. And then we have another net pocket. We have a grab handle, same as the one on the right. For the back passenger doors, there is a handle, a manual lock, a net pocket, and another compartment. On the back of the driver's seat, there is another storage area. Over here in the middle, you can open it up. There are two cup holders, a phone holder. Over here, we have another little storage compartment. We have an outlet port. We have two USB ports. We have the window switches, and we have the two air vents. Same exact thing goes for the other side. Now, to adjust the seats, you will need to do this manually. This is the trunk. Go ahead and pull this up to get an extra storage space. We have some speakers right here, and then we can pull the seats up and down with this. The top of this car is white. In the middle, there is a mirror. And then a little paper clip right here. It's not an actual paper clip, but it even has a paper clip symbol because you can use it as a paper clip. And then here is for your home garage system. So you just click whichever one you set up with your garage. Over here, it says passenger airbag. We have the assist and we have the SOS. We have the rear view mirror right here. And then on the passenger side, same thing goes. We have two speakers over here. And that is it for the inside of the car. Starting from the front, let's first take a look at the hood. There are the hood handles on top with built-in windshield washer. And then to pull up the hood from both sides, you will need to just unclasp, push the hood down, do that, and then it should pop off. And then you do the same for the other side. The engine is the 3.6 liter V6 engine. So we have the turn signal lights right here. So I have the hazards on. And then we have our headlights and the daytime running lights. And then in the middle, of course, we have our grill with the front camera. And a cool thing is you can also wash it. So on the bottom, there's a little hole, so you can wash your camera. Over here on the bumper, we have the fog lights. Moving to the side, we have some badges. So over here, we have a badge that says trail rated 4x4. We have Sahara, Jeep, Wrangler Unlimited. Over here we have the handles, so all the handles are Killa Sentry. And then we can lock by here and then unlock. Now the rear doors do not have Killa Sentry and it's only the driver's and passenger door. On the bottom here we have the side steps. We have a keyhole right here in case your key fob dies. On the left side we have the fuel door. The 
We have the blind spot sensors built in the back tail light and it is on the side of the tail light so it's just like popping out. Same thing goes for the other side. We have the backup camera attached to the spare tire as well as the washer and the rear wiper. Now if we go to controls we can see the backup camera and we can see the front camera. And then we can also clean the camera and rear glass.